from the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians. Live from New York's Get Alive Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got battered. Spilled all over, Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be tough, 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 tough. Hey, what I'm Today's matchup promises seven limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Terror Bay Mutineers battle, the New York Threats. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pink flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projector vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. <laughs> and he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, the coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. First and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. <laughs> First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. in his path. The offense 
is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down and a lot. Oh, man, he really wants it. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Destruction in his path. Oh, crash, bang, pow! Huh? Oh, you ordering Chinese food again, Grim? Huh? Hey, give me the bang, pow chicken. That stuff is good. And don't forget my fucking egg rolls this time. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. Hot. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and ten. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and they pick up nine with that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, with the brutal hit. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life.
And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and long. for an easy kill. Third down and the punter is warming up. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle your son. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. See this guy drop a lot of books. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. refuses to go down. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First down and six. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a court. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. First in and three. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, the strawberry feels dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you're mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it.
And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> I know. I hate those zebra men. <laughs> First down and inch it. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and two. Second down and seven. And like a monkey trying to boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. The message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. That pass play was good for three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, Grin. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but uh, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Right now, what day is it? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. You can't keep a good mutant down. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL.
Channel 90.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! Third and two. just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on? Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's they stop the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of... They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when he got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? 
You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the team's lock off. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Ruin it. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's with oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, now the ground crew's gonna come out and pick him up. Well, that's a real buzzkill. And the and they're catching up. Jump, jump, don't stop it. Rip is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. 
He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. And that's a run for no gain. First down and forever. And they went to the air and came up big. Second down and a very lot. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and, well, good luck. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new... And he breaks... Oh, he just got crushed! And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See a man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> First and eight to go. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not caught, but seriously, stay in drunk. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turds on my front porch every day.
And that'll be second down and four. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Third and four. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just guineas the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond First and ten. Anyone in the mood for Mutant Tartar? He's running out of gas now. He's at the ten. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. Tell me, get him. I'm going to get him on site. And I'm going to spin it. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. It. Oh, what a great day with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger page. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. And Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor.
And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, oh, my bad. Third down and ten. didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection! Third down and never gonna happen. pick man this quarterback must have learned a lot about oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers <laughs> well there's your answer bricks third down and long defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him <laughs> And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Brick, because that was a, a brutal head on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Second down and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Boom! The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's a defense schmuck. Second down and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. 
Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutilated. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Great shoestring tackle. First and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two. Nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Third down and eight. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. The defender says, I don't think so. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. He had it for a second there. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First and ten. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And he just wrestles away from And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. With another pick, the QB says, I don't... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He broke free and has open field in front of him. Touchdown! Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights.
Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you punts. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> lost another line basher on that play and only two remain on the roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. They'll be going onside here and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. And another interception. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wynn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. <laughs> quarterback passes for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> the offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. The 
quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he's off to the races. First and eight. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole! And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And the defense! And that guy is dead! Good riddance! He killed me in my fantasy game last week! I wanted a murder on myself! The defense lost their final line basher. Lucky for them, their offense is out there in the field now, or they forfeit. Yeah, they got luck just like me, Grim. I was playing candy crops the other day, and I got a cavity with herpes. And it's first and ten. the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go... Oh, the New York Threats suffer a humiliating defeat by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't gonna make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were gonna kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah, man, she's gonna spit on that. You know what Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...